Hi YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to make a Roman application using Visual Basics. This means you will not have to install it on a computer but be, still be able to run it. This is obviously an advantage because it means you can have a USB based application which will run on any computer without the installation process. To give you an example of this, here is one I made earlier. Sounds a bit like Art Attack but there we go. Right, this is the executable. This is the only file you need on here. This is just from Uli when I ran it. Um, there is actually more files and folders on here that um, they're hidden. So to see those we go to Start, Control Panel, Folder Options, View, Show All the Hidden Files and Folders, OK, Apply and OK. And then we'll minimise that. Then as you can see there's all files and folders, all necessary to run the application while it's roaming. Right, so I'll show you how to make this. Open up Visual Basics. Uh, make a new project. Windows Forms application, just call it. Um, you YouTube, can't spell YouTube, there we go. YouTube example. Okay. Right, you don't really need to do anything in here, but I'll just change the title of the form just to show you. Um, just change it to hi YouTube, like so. And then we're going to save all. Just click yeah. And it's saved in the projects folder and then we're going to build it well debug it just uh, does the same thing there we go and then we're going to close it down close visual basics down right now we're going to go to uh, my documents um, visual basics projects youtube example youtube example bin debug. Right, these are all the files you'll need. This is the executable which is the one that's going to be displayed and these are the ones that the, these three files are going to be hidden. So you, you want to copy and paste into a spear folder. I'll just delete everything on there. Um, so you paste. Right. So this is the one you want to be um, visible and so we're going to select these three, go on properties, attributes, hidden apply. Right, these are still visible because we need to go to control panel, go to folder options, view, don't show hidden files and folders, okay. Right, now these should be invisible. Right, check if it still works. Yes, here we go. Right, obviously, on a more complicated application, like this one, you'll see all different types of files and folders. But um, that doesn't matter. Um, it still works, as you can see. If you'd like to comment um, an element of this program, that I'm working on for me to show you how to make. For example, um, the USB locker. If I click on the drive F, type in password one. I just copy that because it'll be easier. Um, the username and password is password one at the moment, and then that will run that. Right, temporary you can delete after every build or unlock lock or unlocking of that. Personal is where you keep all your usual um, USB files and stuff. So if I click on F again, put in the username and password, then it'll hide the folder personal. I'll close this down, run it again. And I'll show you another part of it. 
I can also show you how to make um, the login system because if say the username was wrong and I clicked to login it would come up with that username and password again is password1 right, so I can show you how to make that um, I can show you how to make a browse folder so say if I went on F this is uh, on the thing right wh when it get when it hides the folder personal it turns it into this so um, as you can see like that and you can well you can browse anything really even if you're not an administrator on a computer so yeah that's pretty cool if I show you another part of it which is the last part which is the obstacle character recognition this is pretty cool um, if I go on, I'll show you camera first I'll quickly open Word it's Word, Office, Word um, put that full screen I'll just change the text font um, hi, nope, YouTube, this is a test, and then if I hover over it and click, well actually, even if I have it over this form, because it's set to the opposite, it looks through the form, so, which is pretty cool and useful. And then if I click OK, it comes up down by here um, with what it said. And if I go on Launch Magnifier, um, this is set to times 2 zoom at the moment. If I go on Zoom, Zoom in times 2 again, it will zoom in even further. You can change the size of this to change the size of the picture it captures. And if I click Enter, it will capture... Um, actually, I'll just do that it'll capture high and if I click similize then it'll come up with high down there you can, this is better because sometimes on small font it doesn't capture it doesn't compare to the right um, characters and it gets a bit messed up so yeah please comment if you'd like to see how to make any of those parts and I'll try to make a tutorial for you okay thank you